Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel common screen menus. Now, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put, put in the description below. Now, this includes links to downloading the PLCs and the HMI programs. Now, if you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So, up on my screen here, you will see our what we did last time in our first program, where we have our um, screen number one, which contains our start-stop jog circuit, and then with screen number two, which contains our uh, error messages and error codes. So what we're going to do is create a common screen menu for this. Now, allowing operators of your HMI or human machine interface panel to easily navigate all of the information available is a vital part of programming. And we want to represent the information to the operator so they can clearly understand the programming or the programmed operation of the unit. Now common menus on the HMI uh, panel pages will allow the, the quick navigation, understanding and control that your operators really want. And when programming operator interfaces, I've always heard that you use the KISS method, keep it, simple, sim keep it stupidly simple. Your HMI program interface could contain hundreds of pages containing vital information for operator understanding and control, but you must make it easily accessible and intuitive. So in doing that, the common uh, screen menu is a good option. So the first thing we'll do is actually create a new page, and we do this by the um, new, or new screen on this uh, HMI. We'll do that, and we'll call this page 100. And we'll give this a screen name of common screen menu. There we go. We'll just hit OK. And automatically our common screen appears. And over on our object list, we'll go down to the control. Under control, we will have a change screen push button. And what we'll do is we'll just drag that onto our work area. So we'll call this previous screen. And we will make that a little larger font for us to read. We'll, we'll call that uh, previous. So we'll just select the go to. And this tells us our options that we have for this push button. In our case here, we want the previous screen. So everything set under the options. We have visibility. And again, there's passwords. Uh, and we'll get into that later. So we have this all set. We'll leave everything else as default. We'll hit OK. And now what we can do is position our uh, previous screen icon. And we can make it a little bigger. And that looks pretty good there. So that's our previous screen. Now what we'll do is create our forward screen. So what we can do is right click on this and you can hit duplicate. And we'll drag that over to the right hand side of the screen. And we'll just double click that. We'll change the previous to forward. And we'll keep all the rest, you see all the rest of the settings that we've had are already there. So we don't have to do any more. We'll hit OK. Next, what we'll do is again, we'll duplicate this. And we'll move this over here. And again, double clicking it, we'll bring up uh, our parameters for this uh, screen change push button. And we'll put it in here, the main screen and our main screen will actually be page number one or screen number one and we'll hit OK again once we have that all positioned right everything looks good next what we'll do is on our common screen menu we will have a um, select screen selector so what we'll do is we will bring our screen selector sample one onto our screen here 
and I, this gives me an indication of what it's going to look like. What we want is we'll take we'll keep it as the screen number and name, and then we'll have a pop up. So we'll just have one button. So when you hit it, it pops up and gives us what we are looking for. And we'll change this again to the same font size as we had previously, which is 14 on each one of these. And our pop-up button text will actually be select screen. And you'll notice on our screen itself, these are our screens available to us. So what we're do is deselect, select all. And we don't want to actually call up this common screen, so we'll we'll hit the delete button, which will move it back to our available screens. There we go. So we only have the two screens right now, screen one and screen two. So we'll just hit OK. And then we can resize this button. for our application. There we go. So that looks pretty good. So everything, uh, everything's all set now. And what we'll do is that is our common screen menu. Now the next thing we do is we will um, look at our two previous screens. There's screen number one. And what we want to do is edit, go to the properties menu and we'll turn on the edit and we're going to select the uh, show background screen and our screen that we're going to select is our common screen menu Then we'll hit off for our properties and you'll notice that on our screen now we have the um, buttons that we just programmed in. So we'll look at screen number two and we'll do the same thing. We'll hit the edit. We will enable show background screen. We will select common screen menu for that. And then once again, on our work window, window, we actually see those buttons that we just programmed. And we'll turn that off. And again, if we want to edit this, this page, then we must go to always screen 100 and edit from here. So previous menu. You see our previous, we'll see the forward screen, there, forgot, select the go to forward screen, then OK. Our main menu, we're going to screen number one, and our screen select, and these are our options, screen number one or screen number two, and we'll just hit OK for that. And we'll just hit our save to make sure that we saved our program. And we can actually simulate this just before we uh, download it into our controller. And we'll select our EA9. We'll hit start. And we have two menus come up. This is my, um, what my screen will actually look like. And this is my simulation so I can turn on certain values. And we'll look at this at a later time. But if we look at our uh, select screen, we'll look at screen number two. You can see how we select it, pop up comes up. So that's exactly what is happening. So that looks pretty good. Next, what we want to do is um, we can then hit the forward screen or the previous screen shows us that forward screen previous main menu so we go to the forward screen we got the main menu it goes back to the first one again so in a simulation it works looks like everything works we can now exit that simulation and we'll go to the send to send our information down to our um, HMI and we're connected through the HMI through our Ethernet port so what we'll do here is we'll transfer the program. And once the program's transferred, which is complete, complete now, we'll just close that down. 
and we are still communicating to our um, PLC it's our do more that we have here and our do more simulator and we're currently in run mode so if we look at our screen this is our start stop and our jog and this is now our screen menus across the bottom so the first one we have is select screen we can then go to screen number two screen number two now uh, comes up then we can go to previous screen and it, and it will take us back forward screen or select screen again screen number two we can do forward back we can go main screen okay main screen so again our navigation is very important for the development of our HMI program so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below if you have any questions about the video please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it if you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or bus data logging please click on the link below in the description to get it a new video is put out every Monday, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription in order to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.